back in the South Florida, the bottom of the clip of the Gunshine State. Ha. What them boys still boring in that way? Big plate, get it for the 18 if you straight. Get K and stop hating. It's the model of the state. Ha. A lot of face, but it's still real around here. Definitely All right, man, we back. I'm about to talk about everything from Bitcoin to ball. I mean, no man, that's the morning brush show, man. I mean, that's X. I'm D. It's Crib Talk Caneville. Uh, we about to get into a few things. Uh, first of all, man, um, prayers goes out to Otis Anderson and his family. Uh, Otis Anderson Jr. Yeah. Otis Anderson Jr. Um, which he was shot. Family dispute. Um, I don't know the details. I don't want to get into the details until uh, everything really comes out. But uh, prayers up to him and his family. Uh, next thing, uh, people that's calling asking about the, the merch. If you if you get out of the the, the big full screen and look down on YouTube. It's like it's, the merch is right down there. Um, I had a couple call about hoodies and t-shirts. The merch is down there at the bottom of the YouTube. Um, if you just scroll down, I know y'all don't look down there often because you're too busy uh, having it full screen and commenting and stuff. Um, if you want to get down with IOD score, 7645 and the link is in the description. If you want to become a member and get caught up some of the info we put out, get the info first. Um, that link is also down there. Let's get started with, uh, we got a question. We was having a question off camera. We got a question. We was uh, a debate off camera. Uh, who's the best college football player that never won the Heisman? Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Who y'all think the best football college football player? There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them that, that never won a Heisman. Um, let us know in the comment section below. Uh, you, who do you think the best? Um, I mean, we we, we going back a certain year. Like, let's take it back. To, let's take it back to two thousand. Willis McGee. Yeah. Willis McGee should have won it. I think he should have won it. Um, Who won it that year? Um, Nebraska coach uh, Eric Crouch. Oh wow. Eric Crouch won. Yeah. It's it been Eric a lot Crouch of defensive players. It, um, man, a lot of was, defensive players that got snubbed. Yeah, Glenn Dorsey. Yeah. Um, and Dominican Sue. And Dominican Sue. Um, um, the Honey Badger. The Honey Badger. Yeah. Right. 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 Uh, yeah. Vince Young. Who? Who? Vince Young. Like, and I guess they tried to give it to him or something like that. Or, but you know, uh, Reggie Bush won it that year. So Reggie Bush won it. He des Reggie Bush deserved it. He deserved it. He did. He deserved it. Vince Young just happened to come out the wrong year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he 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 really deserved it. Vince Young just happened to come out the wrong year. Uh. So y'all let us know in the comment section below, man. Who is the best player? We'll go back. Just let me go get tap into the nineties. Peter Ward. <laughs> Peter Ward. I felt like Peter Ward should have won it. It was Carson Palmer. Carson yeah. Palmer that won it, not not yeah. Eric Krause. Yeah. Carson Palmer. It was yeah. Carson Palmer, 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 Palmer that won it. Palmer. Yeah, Carson Palmer. Won. Yeah. My bad. Not not Eric Krause. We play. We end up playing Eric Krause the year before. My bad. Krause. So Carson Palmer. Carson Palmer won it. Yeah, um, Carson Palmer won it. Go back to win ninety five. Marshall Falk. <laughs> you say go back. No, I said tap into the night. I went to oh. 99. 99 was a uh, PP the worst should have yeah. won 99. Right, 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 right. So we said go back. Go back to 2000, man. Let us know in the comment section below who y'all think the best college player that never won the Heisman. Um, and it's a lot of them. Um, a lot of people ask me, man, what, 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 what does the scarf say on it, man? And it's fitting and what's going on. <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> Is, it, is that backwards or that for? It says dead, dead pool. That's what the scarf say on it. Dead pool. That's my dead pool scarf, man. I like wearing up here, bro. Um, just my own little vibe, my own little under 3,000 hockey look, man. My own, my, own, my own little thing. Listen, let's pat ourselves on the back. We've been doing that a lot lately. We deserve the credit, man. I've been getting a lot of thank you, man. I've been tweeting us mm -hmm. out. Telling us we deserve our flowers. Yeah, we deserve them, man. We 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 accept them. Right. With open hands. Right, right, right. Um, not, not, there aren't too, too many too many platforms that's more authentic than us. We pulled James Williams in and said, "Hey, man, tell the people that Cam's got a shot to get you." You know what I'm saying? And we, we sat down with Cam and and told, Cam told us, "Listen, I'm about to do what he just did." And what did he just do? He ended up what? Yeah. Came in and took some my position. And ACC, he, he, he um, I don't know if he's all ACC rookie, but uh, he should be. Um, uh, he, something I saw yesterday, um, something I saw yesterday for Cam. I think he, he, something, something Cam did yesterday. Um, 
went and we went we went down and, and got with LT when all the chatter was he going to the SC country and we was like, hey, well, you don't got a chance. Yeah, I mean, we right here, we, we like, we, 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 and we still doing it. I mean, we still doing it. We right here. Forget the fact kids. that we do it for you, on man. We just do it for the kids in South Florida because whatever they go, whatever school they go to, yeah. we, we here to support them right. first. Right. First and foremost. So. Right. I mean, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's definitely not about UM completely, but it's more so about the authenticity of what we're, of what we're doing. I mean, we're here. We're in the fray. We've been in the fray for a while. Uh, so a lot of times when we talk, I mean, it's, it's coming from the community and, and from, from the inside. Um, got another one for you. Oklahoma coach leaves, says I'm out of here. Wow. And, and I don't know if the tweet was dry yet and Brandon Ennis decommitted. Decommitted, man. That, I'm going to tell you, that was funny because I think a couple of days before, uh-huh. he said he's not leaving to go to LSU. Or the coach? Yeah, Lincoln Riley he said didn't. that. He didn't. He ain't lying. The next day, he ain't lie. The next day he comes out right. and he goes to USC. I mean, boy. He ain't lie. So Brandon Ennis decommits. Yeah. Super Brandon fast. Um, not the only so, one from there. Not the only one from there. Right. So I, so I hit him up. I hit him up. Hey, man, that's all you said about Miami. He said, why not the crib? He tweeted out. Crib, yeah. Said something like, why not the crib? I said, boy, you serious about Miami? He said, hell yeah. He been serious about Miami, mm-hmm. but I don't know if they went after him like they no, they no, they went after him. But it was it's, it was not it, it, it was not a hard decision to make when Oklahoma has what three they had what three hundred yeah. three hundred or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Road, and then you have receivers that's top right. It, that's not that wasn't a hard decision to make to go there. Right, you know what I'm saying? So it's not a hard decision. You look at Rambo just had what. A thousand yard season. I tell you one thing about Brandon Ennis. Brandon Ennis chooses where the quarterback is, and that's where he goes. American yeah. Heritage was a little was a little different, you know what I'm saying? Personally, but he finds the quarterback, and that's where he goes because that's the smart thing for a wide receiver to do. Yeah, find the quarterback. He's gonna have one this year. He's gonna have one up next year. Right. He's gonna have one because that one ACC Player of the Year. <laughs> no, no, I mean, he's going to have one at, at Heritage right. next year. Oh, right, right, right. Well, who, who, oh, Adrian, oh. Adrian Posse. Adrian Posse over yeah. there, or right, Adrian Posse. And now, Brandon Ennis, TVD will have, what, one more year with Ennis, if Ennis was to come? If he, if he decides to come if back. If he decides to come back. He, he got, got one more year. But, but still, then, he got the got other boy. And Ja'Kari like Brown. Right, yeah. It's just the fact that it, he saw it happen. It, he saw it happen right here in Miami. Uh, with Rambo just taking as a wide receiver. Yeah, and, and, and hardly breaking our reception. Like, th- those things right there are, are, are polarizing to players because you can say, boy, I could come in and do that too. You know what I'm saying? When you have stuff like that, players are motivated for that. But when you just, hey, ain't nobody doing that. Anymore. Yeah, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's right. That's motivated. Oh, I could come in and break Rambo record now. Does Mario hire somebody to keep this style offense? Of course. How, you think they just going to stay spread? It's not even as I, I don't even look at it as that spread. Uh-huh. It's, it's more of a um because it still has a lot of pro style in it. Uh-huh. But okay, well let's just stop calling offices names then. Yeah. Like, you think, <laughs> do you think we play that style? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Huh? I think I think we still play that style. Yeah. I mean, because it's fitting. Like you you lose Rambo, you lose Harley, but you got Romello, you got Jacoby. Um, you still got um, um, Smith, yeah. uh, Bashar, and, 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 and what, Keyshawn Smith. Yeah. So, yeah, you still play that style. You got the tight end still there. You got Knight in and Chaney will be back. So what, he just has to find somebody that? Somebody that basically could run that same style and be open to allowing TVD to do what he do. Right. Right. Um, so TBD ACC Player of the Year. Um, that that is that is. I just put on. I just put out unbelievable with the looking, the funny looking man, like surprised. That ACC Player of the Year quarterback. Yeah, ACC Player of the Year. ACC not ACC Player of the Year. ACC Rookie of the Year. ACC Rookie of the Year. Right. ACC Rookie of the Year. At quarterback. Um, at quarterback. Right. Got James Williams made. He was he was he was third in voting for ACC Rookie of the Year for defense. Right. Once again, I go back to talent. 
I mean, I don't know where Rooster fell on that list. He didn't play five games. But my God. That's crazy. <laughs> my God. If he, if he be, huh? That's crazy for Rooster to come in and don't play them games and then still make LAC honors. And you can just see the impact that we knew he could do at you were. Yeah, what, eight players on all ACC? Yeah, eight players on all ACC honors, yeah. Anybody you question on them? I still question who's who's better than Lewis Hadley at punt. Like, <laughs> I don't even know what that's about. Who's the punter on the team? I don't even know. They need shot. Man, he should be the number one. You sure he's not the player of the year? <laughs> he should be. <laughs> he should. No, no, I think Jermaine Johnson won defensive player of the year. and um, uh Pickett uh, offensive player of the year. The quarterback from Pittsburgh. From Pittsburgh. Who TVD beat. Heads up. <laughs> Who he had more he had a better he had better stats though in TVD. Wait, he almost had four thousand yards. Yeah. T V D only yeah. played what? T V D didn't play. He played like seven games. Right, 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 right. At the rate of three three hundred yards a game at he would be close, right? Yeah, well, I think he finished with 2,900 yards passing. Yeah, and he missed, what, four games downs. he didn't play the first four? First three. The first three? The first three he didn't play? Yeah. He came in against the House of the Blind. That was his first game? First game was against Central Connecticut, yeah. Oh, okay. No, man, just, I mean, just talent there. Just, just, just the talent is there. I mean, and the other scary spot is, is that Florida State, too. We talk about how bad Florida State is. And they had, what, eight in there also, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean the the, the talent the, the talent is there. Uh, we've been saying it. Um, you just need a system in place. That's it. Somebody come put their foot on these kids' necks. Now, let me get back to what I was saying. Patting ourselves on the back. We talked about this transfer portal stuff at nauseum. How you spell nauseum, dog? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even really know what it means. We talked about this stuff. At nauseam, it sounds like that fit. I know y'all gonna let me know in the comment section. This is not what nauseam means. Nauseam means. I said it was the free agency. I said it's gonna be a problem for the high school kids. Um, I, I've been talking about all this for the longest, dog. And I think it's coming to fruition. I think, I think, I think, y'all. I think people can see it now. I think it's coming to fruition. I think people can realize where we're going with Michigan State, uh, with Spencer Rattler instantly getting benched, taking Oklahoma off his Twitter, and now he's in the portal, right? Instantly. Uh, you got T2 back in the portal. Um, got Hazelwood, Jay, uh, Hazelwood, the guy who um, you um, had – Basically, in the, in, the, in, the, in the bank until he say, man, you don't know, they don't care about winning, and he, he goes to Oklahoma. Right, right. I think half of Oklahoma 2019 class has hit the portal. Right. Yeah, so. Right, 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 right. And I hope you guys can see what it is. I mean, I hope y'all can see what it is now. I mean, I ain't trying to be Nostradamus up here or nothing like that, but it just, I was able to see. That, bro, wait a minute, man. I, Miami's best players have been out the portal. Some of Florida's best players had been out the portal. Um, Florida State best players have been out the portal. Alabama best receivers have <laughs> been in the portal. <laughs> I mean, is, the, is the writing on the wall? I just, I just, I, I'm just trying to think how far is it going to go. But also what this does is it changes the recruiting, but it changes the budget for teams. Now, if you don't have to fly around, if you didn't have the budget before like everybody else did, right? You couldn't fly your plane and land on them. Uh, yeah, we gotta see. We gotta <laughs> see how it is. Cause I don't. Maybe, maybe the recruiting budget stays the same uh -huh. with, with them going to the, going for the transfer players. Maybe I don't know. But maybe that money can go somewhere else. Is what I'm saying. Maybe that money can go somewhere else for the schools like the Wake Forests. And I think college football is gonna get a lot but, more but, competitive, though. Yeah, yeah. They, I think. But what I'm saying is, okay, if, if if a school has a recruiting budget set, yeah, maybe that budget is set for high school and portal kids right. together. Now. Oh, well, you got a budget for portal kids and then you got a different budget for high school kids. I don't know if that's, it might be possible, it might not. It, it, it's here, bro. I, I don't, it's here. 247, 247 is already creating the system of star ratings for the transfer portal, the, the database for the transfer portal. They, they're going to actually like put it together. No, it's here. It's already there. They yeah. already got the system there. Yeah, it, 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 the rating system for the transfer portal? Yeah. Yeah. It's it, already there. Well, well, 
Well, no, they putting it. No, they, no, they finna elaborately put it there the same way that's done for the high school kids. You'll be able to click on his name and you know what I'm saying. Man, listen, it is there. Um, right, it they, is they, they're creating they're creating all this out on the back end where it's going to be a whole composite score of your high school kids, your transfer kids, and what you what was your recruiting rating, all of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's here. This stuff is here. You know what I'm saying? It's here. And we predicted it. You know what I'm saying? We predicted it, but that's beside the point. It's like, where is it, where is it going? I think this makes college, college football a lot more competitive. I believe because I think recruiting is, is a huge part of the budget and having to spend money to fly around to get these kids. I don't think they're going to have to fly around. I don't think they're going to have to fly around to get transfer portal kids the same way. You ain't going to have to go eat collard greens with their mama. And you ain't have to... I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I mean, I don't think so. Remember, remember when Cam know. Newton's dad said, hey, it's going to cost you this time. I don't think so. Leverage is a motherfucker. Uh, and if you're going to jump to the transfer portal, right? Cam Newton's dad said it's going to cost you this time. So just imagine... Um, I don't want to throw no names out there. Just imagine such and such dead or he's talking about, hey. Leverage is a mug. You jump in that portal, your leverage goes from here to here. Recruiting leverage is just out the, the high school kid recruiting leverage is just out the, out, out, out the door. You know what I'm saying? The recruit, the, the leverage, when you jump in the transfer portal, your, your leverage goes from there to here. Period. I mean, it, so there may be one, even the kid that Alabama got, right? Like, what was the big fight? Was it a big fight for him? Like, it, I really didn't hear nah, about it. Nah, it was, um, it really wasn't no fight. You know what I'm saying? You don't want him, but it was like nobody, hey, I'm not going to you. I'm going to Alabama. Right. So, 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 so basically, it's going to help college football teams across the board in parity uh, because the ones who didn't have the budget in the beginning now can just look in the portal. And there's kids in there that's hoping they get out the portal. You ain't gonna have to sell them on nothing. Yeah, they hoping they survive and get out the portal. So you're not really gonna have to sell them on sell them on anything. I mean, and then, then, then it, it, it all depends on the kid too, man. Because a lot of the kids are jumping in and with hopes that they can go to these top schools. You know what I'm saying? And you said they're they jumping and hoping they can they can go, go to up? these top schools. Uh, like I say, just look at look at the two. Alabama basically went in the portal and got the two best players in the portal, a linebacker and a receiver. Um, like, just imagine if a team just saying we can still recruit our, mm-hmm. top, our 25 top kids and then go get five top kids in the portal. Right. It's a, it's a win-win situation for them. I think it's going to just be – I think – I think it's <laughs> – I think it's just going to be the inverse, bro. I think I think teams are going to take a lot of portal kids. Yeah, got to. Yeah, got to. I think they're going to take a lot of portal kids, and I think I think the high school kids are going to miss out. Um, I think parents who already wasn't abreast to recruiting or anything of that nature are just going to be caught behind, still thinking that it's it's, it's working the same way it's working. I'm chasing these big schools. It thinks about you know, change. What if, what if, okay, okay, so what if um, a school like, let's just say, let's just say a school like Louisville decides, well, hey, man, all these, these, all these schools going out to the portal kids, hey, me, y'all high school kids, come on over here. We, y'all come play right away. Get y'all in. And we'll, Does that put Louisville behind? I don't think so. Um... I think it. I, I, <clears throat> I think it would. I think. I think it puts them behind because what if a school decides, hey, we just finna work this portal and keep flipping kids in and out of here like the goddamn. Yeah, but you still got. You still gotta have depth. You still gotta have depth. You still gotta get kids to your program. So if you constantly just using the. When people say portal, you gotta have depth, you gotta have what depth. does that mean? What does that mean? Okay. We're going to use you on You got to have depth. Talk to me. Derrick King goes down. Uh-huh. You have Tyler Van Dyke and Jake Garcia. Jake Garcia goes down. Now you just have Tyler Van Dyke. 
you got no more depth at quarterback. You got the the the, the, the walk ons and the other quarterbacks, but you like, boy, if Tyler Van Dyke goes down, this is bad. Right. <sighs> Cam Harris goes no. Uh Cheney goes down. Knighton is not Knighton can't even play because he's suspended. So you got who? Two run you got three running backs. Cam and two freshmen. Uh-huh. Uh oh. Cam Harris goes down. By the grace of God, Knighton comes back. You still have right. one running back who right. played in two freshmen. Right, because I think you're looking at the transfer portal like it's a take five player thing. What I'm saying is depth. Okay, so so once them players graduate, you got to go back to the portal. And then you're just saying, okay, well, what's happening to the freshmen? If they leave, the freshmen and sophomores say, well, we're going to transfer because we're not playing, but you constantly take it one-year players here and now. Now you have no depth. Why, why we call them one-year players? Nine times out of ten, most of the players who transfer are one-year players. They come in, they didn't succeed or finish their career good at this other school, so we go to another school and let's see if we can up our draft stock. T2 got how many years left? Four. The kid from Alabama got how many years? What, 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 what is it? The lineman from... Um, Jameson? Yeah. Talk about the receiver? The the, the um, line we were just talking about. T2, T2, this is a T2. T2 got four years left, right? T2 got four years Think about that, bro. Yeah, players like that. They, there's, there's, they in there. They in there. I mean, um, who left our team this year? I mean, I don't know. I'm not thinking it right, but... Uh, Gerber Hall. Hall. Uh, Hall left. Uh, Bradley Jennings left. Um, yeah, Pope and Wiggins are Pope older. Pope and Wiggins. All of them got like a year left. Right. I think every sophomore, senior, freshman, they're all in the portal, big dog. And I think when teams start taking two at a time, <laughs> two cornerbacks, three cornerbacks at a time, then I think y'all will realize that, like, holy shit. Let me get one junior, one senior. Let me get a freshman that just jumped in there. Like Clemson running back. I think it's called, listen, why is this there? You know they hungry. You know they still want to play. They may be more focused around this time. We just haven't seen it yet. But I'm, I'm I don't a know, man. Ply said something like, "Man, you 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 could enter the transfer portal all you want to, but if you ain't got it, you just ain't got it." So a lot of them players, I feel like, are just doing it because they're they're not playing. Like I I, I think that's that's the reason a lot are in the portal because they aren't playing. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean. Right, or they was lied to. I, do we call it lying when the coach recruits you and tell you, "Hey, man, you gonna come to you, and you gonna be a, uh, you gonna play, you gonna be the starter." That's, I mean, that's. I'm telling you, you got the opportunity to be the starter, but you gotta work for it. I'm not just gonna give you the job. Tell me, I got the opportunity. Don't tell me get ready to play the two running backs before you are hurt, and then get me there. <laughs> and then. And then that ain't the case. They both in spring practice. That's a lie. I mean, they both got help. For huh? spring, they both got help for spring practice. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess. I don't know. Right, right, right. Don't tell me. Don't, 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 don't tell me that. So I mean, they in the transfer portal for for numerous, for numerous. Yeah, numerous reasons. Yeah. For, root, for numerous reasons. I mean, just reasons. look at um, Oklahoma, man. They like, like I say, they 2019 class and hit the portal most of them, and then. And um, I guess they're in the portal because of the coach leaving. Yeah? Yeah, you know, you get used to a coach and you feel like you don't want to play for a new coach because they're going to come in and change your whole style of play. Right. Now tell me this. Let me know in the comment section before. And you let me know. How many players have went to college, right? Came home. Maybe never went back again. Failed. Like, but you knew they could play football. You knew they could play for a fact. Let us know in the comment section before. Give me a name from somebody from your hometown that went to college. Couldn't get along with the coaching staff, couldn't get it together, came back home, and he never played again. Deontay Mullins? He never hit the portal, though. It was no portal, I don't think. But what I'm you know numerous of them, big dog, right? Sam Bruce. Ooh, that, that, we, we know numerous of them, right? Those kids are in the portal. To say it right, I can keep naming you. Thank you. <laughs> Those kids are in the portal. Now they're in the portal with a second chance. Yeah. Right. Right. 
Well, yeah, cause then, you know, then, you remember, you had to sit out of here and stuff like that, or you got to go to Juco. Right. I um, thought EJ probably would have been in the league. He could have prolonged this thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> he could have got out of Kentucky, man. No. So, but that's what I'm saying. Those kids now are in the portal. Now, is there some kids in the portal that can't play? Of course it is. Of course there's some kids in the portal that can't play. But tell that to who, who, who um, what's the team name? Just got the cornerback the, the from Northwestern. Uh, cornerback from Northwestern used to be dancing all the time. He left uh, Nebraska. Uh, and went to uh I don't know, it's not Indiana. No, it's not Indiana. He just got interception the other day, I think, to win the game. He Delancey, Vernon Delancey, right? Yeah, yeah. He he could play, right? We knew he could play. We knew the wide receiver from Northwestern could play there with Nebraska, jumped out of there as freshman, went to Maryland. He could play. Sometimes those kids that 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 was the end of the road for some of time. You know what I'm saying? It was a slippery slope. Yeah. College football, man, is about to. I mean, it's it's it's, it's, it's already changed. It ain't. Yeah. It's going to change. It's already changed. You just look at how they they finna do these these this power conference with the SEC. They got Oklahoma and Texas jumping in with them. Um, now you got the ACC trying to join forces with the Big Ten and Pac-12 and all that. To, right. To to do um, interchange conference games and stuff like that. Right. So that's changed. That dynamic changed. Um, the, the, the transfer portal has become the free agency. That's changed. Uh, players getting the, – the, 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 they could get paid now. That's changed. So, it's just changed. Everything is already – it's already changed. Right, right, right. Uh, so, listen, bro. It, it's, 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 we're entering a, in an interesting time in University of Miami football and in college football. Period. Things about to change, man. If y'all want to stay abreast of it, y'all just stay locked on with us because we predicting everything, man. We batting like X. X get every recruit right. Everybody except KJ Osborne. <laughs> Ow! Did you delete that tweet, bro? KJ Osborne. You say, man, why are we taking it? Was it KJ Osborne? <laughs> I mean, you say it about him? Hey, why are we taking a wide receiver Buffalo? You don't remember that? <laughs> nah, I mean, I don't know if I said why are we taking it. I, I, you remember nah, that? You remember that? I don't think I said that, but I know the one I did say was the the, the, the Tommy Kennedy. I was like, whoa. From whoa. where? Where was he coming from? I'm sorry. I don't even know what school he came from. He, oh, he came from um a basketball school that, that barely had football. Man, we're gonna get things right and we're gonna get them wrong, bro. Uh things change, information change. So we're gonna get them right and we're gonna get them wrong. But we never come up here. We ain't ever gonna come up here and just lie and say and say something. Before I get out of here, man, I want to say this, man. I'm t- I'm I'm I'm, I'm give these people their flowers. We on some drink champ shit, right? All the coaches. I don't know if it's across Florida with the paying with the coaches and getting paid, but I know here in South Florida, Dade and Broward for a fact. Oh man, it's bad. High school coaches don't get paid a lot of money. Oh wait, no, this is this is all over state. Of it's all over state of Florida. It's state of Florida. Yes. It's all over state of Florida. I'm talking about really not. They don't get paid. Like they got to well, be a teacher. Well, get get, get uh, officially paid from the state or the yeah. Most, uh, well, even though the, what they get paid, I think is like four thousand dollars. I think the, the system, nah, some like, of the systems get like thirty five hundred. Huh? It's thirty five hundred, yeah. man. And then once taxes and all that, man, that check might be like fifteen. And, right. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's not worth it, especially if you high school football right now, man. It's almost three sixty five a year, man. It's like you got to be there. It is. And the, the, even the thirty five hundred, just saying they didn't take the taxes out. That's right. that's not good. Yeah, and so a lot of coaches on the staff don't get paid. Yeah, you, they just dare to wear the shirt. Man, you gonna have the head coach getting paid, the offensive coordinator get paid, the defensive coordinator get paid. They might pay the DB line. It's gonna be like six coaches getting paid. Right, right. So I want to get them their flowers, man, for all the coaches who run their practice late to keep the kids from out the community doing something they ain't got no business there. For all the coaches. Who take kids home, who had to get kids lunch money today. For all the coaches who had to talk to a kid who basically homeless, living with his grandma, and you gotta talk him through every week, you know what I'm saying, on not quitting, how life is about. Man, flowers to all of y'all. Because I'm realizing that these gems that, that, that we're raising and putting in the league and stuff, it comes from them. They did that. You know what I'm saying? They did that. They groomed these kids. They may get to Clemson and dabble, get credit for it. 
or, 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 or college coach gets credit for it, but they don't get enough credit at all. You know what I'm saying? At all. So shout out to y'all, man. Flowers to y'all. Shout out to y'all, man. Flowers to y'all. Y'all screen record this. Send it to a coach that need to see it, man. Footballville, we we up here talk about a lot of stuff, but we ain't we ain't forgot yeah, y'all. Forget y'all man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially our coaches in South Florida. So flowers to y'all, man. I'm D. That's X. We out. Go take three motherfucking days, and that's what.